Hi everybody. So this activity is called a coffee filter parachute. So the materials are pretty simple. All you need are two pipe cleaners, any color, and one regular coffee filter. Um, if you would like to design your parachute, because the coffee filter is going to act as your parachute, um, you can color it in, you can paint it with watercolors. If you would like to use regular markers, you can. But markers and watercolors are fine, but it's gonna cause your coffee filter to be wet and you would need it dry. So if you decide to do that, you'll wanna decorate it, let it dry completely, and then come back and finish the rest of it. I'm not going to color mine or decorate it right now. I'm just gonna use it the way that it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little person that's gonna be attached to our parachute made out of the coffee filter. So results may vary here. Um, we're just gonna do our best to kind of twist and turn this pipe cleaner into make a little person. So you can, if you have little Lego figurines at home, you could probably use those as well. Um, they're gonna be a little bit heavier than the pipe cleaner and give you some different results, but it's good to try other things and see what works best for you. So I'm just gonna give you a few quick steps and how you can make a little person out of just this one pipe cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of twist a loop in the middle. So I'm gonna take kind of the left and the right side, twist it over each other, and I'm gonna make a little loop. Then I'm gonna take it and twist it once or twice to hold that in shape. So that's gonna be the head of my little person. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is make his arms. And I'm just gonna kind of twist up here and kind of bend it. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, kind of pick a length and bend it in half and have the meat in the middle. So there's his arms. Maybe even wanna twist it in the middle there. Now they're not perfect, they're not necessarily even, but that's okay. And then what's left is pretty much just his legs, which you can take and bend up. You could even take his little arms and bend those up if you want. Um, just to make a little person. So you can do this 10 different times. It might look different each time. It doesn't really matter how you make it, but there's my little guy I'm gonna use for Mayan. Okay, all right. So then the next thing we're gonna do is kind of make our parachute here. So I have a coffee filter. I'm just gonna flatten it out. And I'm gonna take one end of my coffee filter. And remember the ends of these could sometimes be sharp because they're made out of wire. And I'm just gonna poke it through and it pushes through really, really easy. And I'm gonna just bend it so that it stays on there and doesn't pull through. And then I'm gonna try and use the loops of my little guy's arms here to kind of weave this through so he stays attached. And if you can't find the little, like I bent this together, there we go. I'm just gonna push it through the middle, push his arms back together. Now he's attached. I'm just gonna, whoop, that didn't work out. He kind of came off here. Let's try this again. It might help if I did this ahead of time, which I might. I might take that out and get him attached first. And then go back and... Oh, there we go. Okay, so maybe do that first if yours comes off and I'm now I'm deforming my my guy here a little bit okay so he's on there now i'm gonna go back and find where i poked through last time and put that on then i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side just poke it through you don't really need scissors or anything like that and i'm just gonna give it a little bend on this side so it doesn't come off and like there it is okay so he's attached so then the next thing you would want to do is take it somewhere where you can drop it down from like a higher place. So um, maybe you have like a tree house outside or you have a swing set you can drop it from. Maybe if you have a deck or a balcony, just be careful. You could take it to if you have a park somewhere by your house and you can release him. Make sure that your parachute or your coffee filter is open all the way and see how long it takes him to float to the ground. Now this is pretty lightweight. But like I said earlier, if you want to use a Lego person, you can, or some kind of little figurine, if you can attach it with another pipe cleaner and see if it's going to increase or decrease the speed that he's going to fall. You know, if it's a windy day and you get lucky, um, 
that wind is going to slow them down a little bit. So you can try and see how can you make this fall slower? How can you make it fall faster? So maybe um, what you could do is change your parachute. So maybe you could take the coffee filter and maybe cut a smaller parachute and see how that affects how long it takes to fly. Or maybe you have some different materials you wanna use for your parachute. Maybe you have paper or you have saran wrap or a plastic bag that you get from the grocery store. It would be a much bigger parachute. Um, so maybe a cupcake liner even would work or a napkin or a paper towel. You can try lots of different parachutes, lots of different little people so you can attach if you have something else. And what's gonna happen here is when um, you release it from, like I said, a, a height that's a little bit higher so it has room to fall down, uh, gravity is what keeps us grounded. It's what keeps our feet on Earth and we don't fly away like the astronauts do up in outer space because there is no gravity. That force wants to bring it down but your parachute is catching the air and that's called air resistance. So resistance is a term that we use that slows things down. They use it in electricity as well, but it holds things back and, slow, and slows them down. It's like if you were running away and someone grabbed the back of your shirt and tried to hold you in place, that's gonna slow you down. You probably have enough energy to keep, keep running, but if they're holding on to the back of your shirt, you're gonna have to use a little more force to keep going. That's kind of the same, the same resistance, that same term that applies here as well. So the bigger your parachute, the more air is gonna push up against gravity. Gravity's working to pull us down and that air, air underneath is holding it up. So they're kind of working against each other. So the more air resistance you have, that, that force is going to be greater, I don't wanna say greater than gravity, but it's gonna slow down gravity and it's gonna allow it to fall a little bit slower. So you can make like four or five of these. You can have someone with a stopwatch or maybe the, the timer on a phone to see how long it takes and which one works the best. Maybe you want it to fall faster. Maybe you wanna see who would hit the ground first or maybe you wanna see who can stay in the air longer. So if you had a windy day, a nice breezy day, that breeze, that uplift of air is gonna help keep your parachute in the air longer. So you can really have a lot of fun with this and there's lots of different variables you can change. Um, like I said, either your parachute itself, the size, the material, or um, the little guy that we have hanging on here too. So you can, you can really have a lot of fun with this one um, to see what works best for you. So I hope you enjoy this one.